Daily Connection. Your daily connection to God and His Word. Good morning, Faithful. How you doing? Well, it's a good-looking Thursday morning. We are indeed praising him, giving thanks, and lifting him up. You have some news we can use? Yes, (laughs) ma'am. Ready to share that good news. Well, all right, Tennessee Valley. Get ready for news that we can all use. That's Rock Barrow's Christ in Action. Take it away, Pastor. All right, indeed. Delighted to be sharing with you news that we got to report. The prophet Isaiah called it the report of the Lord. Isaiah 53, who has believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? He was bruised. He was Wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we were healed. Talking about the Lord Jesus Christ and him laying his life down for every single one of us. Y'all, that's the good news that we declare. That's the very essence of what we talk about here. Every single morning we bring this good news to you. You said, well, I've heard that before. Well, you need to hear it and remember it over and over and over again. As we're talking about transformation and particularly the mercies of God. One of the mercies of God is, we don't think about it often, but the the gospel. Did you know the gospel is a mercy of God? The good news that God sends to us concerning salvation is that salvation is not predicated upon you or or what you do in your performance and your good works. Man, that's the mercy of God because we owe a debt we could never pay. He paid a debt that he did not owe. He sent his only begotten son into the world, not to condemn us, but that we through him might be saved. And the son gave his body and blood for you and I, not that we, Uh, should be destroyed and cast away. But he literally who knew no sin was made sin, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. This is why the apostle Paul says in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, that I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who will believe, to the Jew first, but also to the Gentile. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. When we talk about the mercy of God, let me again describe it. It is God keeping us from what we deserve, but not only that, preserving us for what we are made for, and giving us in his grace unmerited, unearned, undeserved favor that we don't deserve because of his son, Jesus Christ. See, that's the good news of the gospel. That is, uh, the it preached over and over again. It rehearsed and remembered from day to day in your life will empower you. It will transform you. Never ever think that the gospel is old. Never, ever think that the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ is old. In fact, the writer, the Apostle John in John chapter 12, uh, Revelations chapter 12, calls the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ the spirit of prophecy. What does that mean exactly? Well, when he talks about it being a prophecy, prophecy is spoken of in two terms, two ways. In 1 Corinthians 12, it talks about that prophecy when one prophesies, he speaks un, not unto men. He speaks unto man for edification, exhortation, and comfort. But also there is the prophetic gift wherein things that are not known and have not been revealed are spoken of and brought alive by the Spirit of God. Well, friend, the testimony of Jesus Christ does both. 
It comforts us. It exhorts us. It edifies and builds us up as to who we are and what we've been made and what we've been given in Christ. But not only that, friend, it speaks of all the great things that God has promised and spoken of ahead of time and given us in Christ. Here's what it says in Ephesians chapter one, that he has already blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. The word hath means it's already done. It's already been given to us. And so then the testimony of Jesus Christ reveals and open to us things that God has already appointed and designed and given for us. See, that's the gospel, the good news that God has already thought about you in Christ and provided for you every single thing that you need. Hey, friend, let's let the gospel empower us today to be transformed as his power for salvation is brought to bear in our lives and through our lives as we share it with others. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond, where the dream of change is alive and Jesus is our joy. Knowing this, together, you and I are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and share his love with others. That's good news on this thankful Thursday morning, Faithful. Let the listeners say amen. Amen, amen, and amen again. Great job as usual, Pastor. We look so forward to talk to you each and every day. Just continue to do what God has you to do, and that is get that word out to the people of God. Yes, ma'am. And you keep doing what you're doing with Gospel Explosion. And hey, together, we'll be the difference that make the difference. All right. Have a great day on purpose now. Amen to your will. You too. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. All right. Well, hey, listen. Never, ever let the gospel become old news to you. It is good news. It is good news that you can use every day in your life as uh, the gospel, again, is not just for your uh, eternal salvation, but in and as a benefit in your eternal salvation, you have all of these awesome spiritual blessings and all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, who has called you to glory and virtue. Well, friend, we're going to talk more about this as we continue in the week. But hey, remember this always. God loves himself some you. And we do too. You matter to God and you matter to us. Do have a great Thursday on purpose. Bye-bye for now. Talk to you again real soon.